Hi, my name is James Shepard, and this is the Merchant Sales Insight. Today, we're talking about ATM machines and dual pricing and how dual pricing is impacting the ATM opportunity. The sponsor of this edition is Star Financial. You can head over to GoWithStar.com. GoWithStar.com. They have a fantastic suite of reseller opportunities for ISOs and agents that wanna offer ATM services to their merchants. If you go back five or 10 years before dual pricing and differential pricing was really popular in the US market, the opportunity to place an ATM machine was almost exclusively going to be at a, you know, in a mall, in a convenience store, in a theater, a casino, really high foot traffic areas like that were really the only ones where businesses showed an interest in having an ATM machine placed. And it was the only place that made any financial sense to put an ATM machine so that you could actually get some transactions out of it, right? Well, with dual pricing, that has shifted a little bit. We're now seeing large restaurants and retailers who are looking to get an ATM machine in their business for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, they love the psychology of being able to tell their customers, their patrons, we got an ATM machine over there. So that when people say, hey, I noticed the cash price is a little bit lower than the card price, right? They can say, well, yeah, and actually, if you'd like to get some cash, we have a cash machine right over there. And what does that do? Well, is that person then going to go spend $4 to get money out to pay for their meal? No. What they're going to do is they're going to realize, well, wait a second, actually, you know, the difference, the, the cash price and the card price, the card price, card price being a little higher actually makes a lot of sense because it is expensive to get cash out, right? So the psychology of it is really good, but it also takes the heat off of them to say, look, we're giving you another option. So if you don't like this, here's another option. So it's more of a psychology. It's also a psychology for the business owner themselves because when you're selling it, you could say, well, if you're really that concerned about it, we'll put an ATM machine in, right? So we know that again, it's not like we need the ATM machine there. We know the customers are gonna be fine either way, but having the psychology of it for the business owner and the customer is actually really nice. Number two, it turns out that the reports of the cashless society in most markets has not come to fruition. It hasn't really worked out that way. People still want cash in their wallet. And the funny thing is, there's actually less and less opportunities for people to get cash nowadays. So when they're leaving a restaurant and there's a lot, you know, again, a de not a tiny little restaurant, but a decent sized restaurant, when people are walking out of the restaurant and there's an ATM machine there, guess what they do a lot of times? They stop and they get a, some cash out because <laughs> they want to have cash in their wallet, right? Uh, to be able to tip a driver or to be able to do whatever they want to do with their cash, you know? Um, they want to be able to get cash. And so people are actually using it and now that business owner is actually making a little bit of money off the ATM machine because with ATM processing, unlike payment processing as a general rule, ATM processing allows both the um, processing company, in this case, Star Financial, our sponsor, the agent or ISO, which would be you, and the business owner all split the fees that are collected from those transactions. And that leads us to the third reason that we're finding an increased interest in placing these ATM machines in restaurants and retail stores, these larger uh, you know, places, and that is residual income for the ISO or the agent, right? Uh, you wanna make some money off of this. And ATM is a great bundled service. Some of the really cool things, I actually just got done shooting a, a training session, a training course rather for Star Financial, and uh, we had an ATM machine here, and so you definitely can check out that training course if you go to ccsalespro.com slash training. But one of the really cool things about it is we showed the different uh, denominations of cash. So you can actually put four different denominations of cash in there. It doesn't have to all be 20s. It could be ones, fives, tens, 20s, 50s, hundreds. You know, you can pick four and they can put different denominations into that machine, which are a lot more flexible. And so there's all these different options now with ATM machines. There's a lot of different things you can do in an ATM machine. So it's just a really great opportunity for you to add value to the business owner. It's a great psychological benefit to add it on with a dual pricing or the whatever differential pricing that you're using if you're doing compliance surcharging, cash discounting. So that's a really, really good add-on. And then with these new machines, it really draws people to get money out, which is gonna, every time somebody takes money out, you're making a residual income off of that. So a couple of calls to action for you real quick. Number one, go to, head over to go with 
star.com. That's the website for Star Financial, which is the sponsor of this edition. If you really want to dig a little bit deeper though, and actually see a physical ATM machine, see the inside of an ATM machine and see how it all really works, uh, how the financial side of it works, head over to ccsalespro.com slash training, ccsalespro.com slash training. And if you go in there to the free, it's 100% free training, no cost whatsoever. It's not a free trial. It's just free if you're an individual. Uh, there are sponsors in there. Well, one of the sponsors is Star Financial. So we put their new course in there on how to, how to build an ATM portfolio. And I actually interview uh, uh, Jonas, the CEO of the company, right here in the studio. I show you an ATM machine. We do some really cool stuff. So definitely check out that course to understand how to build an ATM portfolio and order to head over to gowithstar.com to learn more about the company. My name is James Shepard and this has been a Merchant Sales Insight.